Hello everyone, my name is Raygun and welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video where we'll be talking about all the available mounts in game and how to get them. First things first, make sure you follow me on social media guys and also on twitch.tv, you can find the links in the description, so let's jump into it. We're currently close to the finale of the Icebrood Saga and for all you new players out there, we currently have 8 mounts available in game. I have split them into 3 different categories for what you need to own to be able to get these mounts. The first mounts we shall talk about are the first 5 mounts that were added to Guild Wars 2 with the Path of Fire expansion, therefore you will need to own Path of Fire to actually get these mounts. The first is the Raptor mount which requires you to complete Sparking the Flame story mission which is literally chapter 1 of Path of Fire. This mount allows you to leap long distances. Next we shall talk about the Springer and you have to complete the Golden Heart where you help around High Jump Ranch in Stampede Uplands in the Desert Highlands map. You are required to also purchase the mount of 50 trade contracts and 1 gold. Be aware however you do need to have the Raptor Mastery Canyon jumping for this mount. The mount also allows you to jump up to high ledges. Now we have the skimmer mount, again you have to complete a golden heart and use a skimmer to help with training around the ranch located at the skimmer ranch in the Elon Riverlands map. And then purchase it for 50 trade contracts and 4 gold. You will also need to complete the Raptor Mastery Canyon jumping just like the Springer mount. This mount allows you to travel over water and quicksand and even dive underwater with the new mastery. Next we have the Jackal mount. You need to complete the Golden Heart to help Drodgecore Spirit Squall control jackals in Sand Jackal Run in the Desolation map. And then purchase it for 200 trade contracts and 20 gold. This also will require either the Springer Mastery High Vault or the Skimmer Mastery Ride the Wind. This mount allows you to blink forward for a short distance and enter sand portals with the correct mastery. When Path of Fire launched, a fifth mount was discovered which is the Griffin mount. You need to complete the Path of Fire story, then complete the Open Skies collection. Before you start this, be aware that you will need 250 gold to complete this collection. Also, let me know what your favourite Path of Fire mount is in the comments below. Moving on to the next two mounts, when Living World Season 4 was introduced, so were some new mounts. Be aware that if you weren't playing at the time each episode was released, you will need to purchase these episodes from the Black Lion store. The first mount introduced was the Roller Beetle in Episode 3, Long Live the Lich. You'll also need to complete the mission Forearmed is Forewarned. Once this is done, you'll need to complete three separate collections, Beetle Juice, Beetle Saddle and Beetle Feed. This mount lets you drift and do tricks while airborne. The next is the Sky Scale and this one takes a bit longer to complete and is available from Episode 6, War Eternal. You need to complete War Eternal, then speak to Gorik and complete the 5 collections. This is a bit time gated and requires a few items that can only be crafted one per day, um, so be prepared for this to take a while, but the best advice is to just keep going until you have the Sky Scale. This mount can fly in all directions and hover in place while it has energy. Then the last mount is the War Claw. It is available from World vs World and is purchased from Elvi the War Claw Tender, who is located in several locations within the Mists, for 8 gold but requires you to complete the War Claw Companion Achievement, which has a number of objectives related to playing World vs World. That is all from me today guys, before I end this video I hope this helped all of you and that you found this video helpful, and if you did click like below and hit that subscribe button for more Guild Wars 2 videos. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you all later, bye.